Today is what I'm going to do is give you a rundown on how to utilize the secret swap. Um, the reason this is important is A, the CFI token is quite undervalued in my opinion. And then B, it opens your arsenal to other yield farming opportunities within the cosmos. And then C, or the third reason is that they, they just announced about two weeks ago, as you can see here in this article on January 19th, they announced a $400 million ecosystem funding program. And I'm not going to run through this whole article, but if you scroll down, you can see about I guess halfway down here, they stated that the primary goal of this ecosystem fund is to ensure that every individual team and organization building on secret has a clear path to self-sustainability and support in bringing their products to the market. And so I think that this is important because first, secret network in general is a layer one that is privacy first. And so is what that means is that the smart contracts that are utilized within the secret network in general are not readily visible to outsiders. So basically, you know how on Ether, we can run in to Etherscan and then we can look at look up an address and then we can figure out kind of all the actions, the balance and everything that that address has done. On Secret, you cannot do that um, unless the wallet owner enables it. So with that being said, um, just a quick introduction is what we'll do today is we're gonna run over to the Kepler wallet, make sure that we have Secret over here on our, Kepler, and you can see that I have 9.99 secret. Is what we're going to have to do is go over to secretswap.net, and basically, is all you'll do is click on this um, up in the right hand corner, and it'll take you here to the actual DEX. And now, is what you're going to realize is that we're only able to use wrapped secret or S secret, which is secret secret. And so it's this version of secret that can be utilized in the secret network. And so, in order to get our secret tokens, is what we have to do is go back to the Kepler click down here. And I'll add that, approve. And then basically is all I'm doing is approving the secret secret to be added to my um, wallet. And so now you can see that everything's approved. So I'll wrap nine and I'll keep about one whole uh, secret in the wallet in order to pay for gas fee. So now you can see that my balance has gone down by nine exactly and I still have sufficient gas. So is what we'll do is we'll run over to secret swap now, and we're gonna get exposure to the CFI token in doing this. And the reason the CFI token, in my opinion, is one to at least have a, a partial position in is A, it's the native governance token to the secret swap, much like the Osmo token is to Osmosis, or the raw token will be to the Juno swap, the CFI token is the native token to the secret swap. So we can run over here to coin market cap and you can see that it's had a 13% run up today. Um, so you guys can wait for it to cool down if you want, but I'm just kind of showing you how to get exposure to this token and then how we can get yield on it. Um, and so you can see that it has a hundred or a billion tokens total supply. This is the secret finance DAO token or the governance token over there. And it's sub five cents. It's super, super um, inexpensive. It's reasonable and it's easily obtainable and easy to get a small bag of and then just hold it for a while um, if that's what you want to do. So now is what we'll do to get exposure to this token is we'll run back to secret swap, just swap some secret for C5, but you can go over to the pools and you can see this is where we'll add liquidity. And then this is where we'll basically start farming is over here. And they actually do have an infinity pool, which I like a lot because you're getting 20, 27% APR in CFI. And then you're also getting 4% APR in the new alter token. So now is what we're going to do is we need to add, we need to add liquidity. So the first thing we need to do is go back to the swap function and we're going to just throw it, throw some of it into the infinity pool and then we'll also farm some of uh, the secret and the CFI uh, liquidity pool tokens. So as what we'll do is we'll just convert about five of these to CFI and we'll just do this quick swap. Okay, that went through. And so now is what we can do is one of two things. The first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to also single side stake the CFI token in the infinity pool. But we're also going to throw some into the liquidity pool with secret, secret, and CFI. So we'll go over here to the pools. We'll select C secret, secret, 
And then is all we'll do is we'll put two. So we're approving the CFI token, and then we're going to have to come back and approve the secret token. Okay, all this went through. So is what we'll do now is we'll put two secret secret, and we'll put nearly 300 CFI tokens in. So we'll go ahead and provide this. And this is providing liquidity. Now we have the liquidity pool tokens because these transactions went through. So now we run over to earn. And is what we have to do is run down to the secret secret slash CFI pool. And you can see that it's 46% APR. And so we're going to go ahead and add to this our LP tokens. We have to, again, we have to approve everything. So you click on balance here and then you approve it, sign the transaction. And we'll add, add all of our liquidity pool tokens. Okay. So now we're going to earn, start earning. We're going to sign this transaction. And so now you can see why we need to leave some secret in our wallet in order to make sure that we have plenty of gas to pay for all these transactions. And this isn't every time. This is just your first time utilizing the DEX. So keep that in mind. So now this went through, but we, again, we cannot see our balance. So we have to click on view balance and we have to sign this transaction now. And this is like seven cents, 15 cents, as opposed to on Ethereum. Every one of these on Ethereum, every one of these transactions would cost us about $40 on average. Okay, so now we can see our balance. We provided about $24 in liquidity to the CFI secret pool. We're getting 46% APR and we're getting exposure to both secret secret and CFI or secret. Secret is the same token as secret secret. It's just the wrapped version, okay? So now we're gonna add the rest of our CFI up here to the infinity pool. We're gonna have to approve. So we click here. And we're going to submit this transaction. Okay, that went through. And now I have 448 CFI tokens or $18 worth. I'm going to just provide all 448 of those and I'm going to start staking them. Okay, and that went through. And now again, in order to, our, to see our available balance or what we have staking, we have to click on the view balance and then we have to sign the transaction. So it's a little bit cumbersome, obviously, the first time that you enter a pool. But now the next time that I come back to hit these pools, it, I will not have to sign all these transactions and it will be much more seamless. Okay, now you can see that I have, I've provided or I am staking single-sided staking in the infinity pool with my 448 CFI tokens. And you will see over time, you will see your available unstaked tokens go up because we're earning our 27% yield in this pool. Okay. Um, with that being said, that's really the completion of this video. I don't, if you guys have any questions, you guys can post them in the comments below, or I'm working on setting up a Discord so that we can kind of get a community of um, cosmonauts over there in the Discord, um, kind of where I'll be there to help answer questions, help guide people. And I do have a couple people that are more than willing to jump on and be moderators or kind of help me along in the process. Um, I really enjoy helping expand the Cosmonaut community. Uh, I, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me.